Hello, everyone. I think some people may be confused about why they are on this earth. You know, I think in this world, they have us think like how life is supposed to be like be successful possibly get married have children uh, make so much money to where you know, you don't have any worries or anything like that. Like, I believe the world, maybe in some cultures, try to teach people on how they should be or how they should function in this life. And I truly believe that is the problem right there. Maybe you were raised believing in this earthly vision way of life. Like your life is supposed to be like this because maybe by media, you know, maybe they have influenced us to think that if you aren't living this way, you know, something is wrong. I believe that is the problem. Okay. In this life, it is primarily about God, about Jesus Christ. Let's say what can I make for an example? Let's say Uncle Kev, that's me, gives you a test. Maybe that is not a good example. So in this life, it is about God. It is about Jesus Christ. Some people may say God is controlling, he is a tyrant, you know, like if you made something, let's say you made whatever, you are making it, I believe you are making it for a purpose, right? Like. If you made something, <laughs> like, don't you want ownership of it? Like, who makes something but doesn't want whatever that person has made to work in a certain way? Like, do you make anything to break or to not function the way you want it to function? I think that makes sense, right? If you made something, I believe you want it to work, to function in the way you want. So if I made a machine, if I created a chair, if I created something, I believe there is a purpose behind it. I believe I want ownership of it. If this makes any sense. Look, we are on this earth for God's purposes. 
You may think that you can live your life any way you want. You may think life is supposed to go the way you intend it to go, but no. Jesus Christ, or should I say God, he should be the primary focus, the main focus, first. Like, why are we on this earth? I think one of the reasons why a person's life, I think some people contemplate suicide and, you know, hurting themselves and stuff like that. Probably, I think one of the reasons Maybe for some people, I think one of the reasons are they are living outside of God's purpose. Maybe they don't even understand why they are on this earth to suffer or whatever else. If you don't acknowledge like we are here for God's purposes, I think you might think inside your head, maybe with some people, that life is a waste of time, like there is no reason to live. Look, we are not here to live life as we think we should live life. If you read the Bible, look, please listen, man. If you want to succeed in something, if there are instructions, shouldn't you read the instructions? If someone made something and you are partaking in it, if you want to be successful in it, won't you read the instructions? Won't you try to play by the rules of whoever is in charge? God is in charge. Did, didn't God make this earth? So if you are going against the creator's, if I can say this, structure, like, why would you believe you can be successful in it? Back in the past, I used to think that you know, sinning was so fun. And in a sense, I guess, like if you don't really dig deep, <laughs> I guess sin is fun. So I used to think, you know, sin is so fun. Like, why can't I fornicate? Why can't I commit adultery? Why can't I, you know, be myself? <laughs> I think I would call it, in a sense, being myself. But as I started to seek God more, as I started to understand God more, as I, I believe too, started to read the Bible more, I think I have noticed and learned more of sinning is not in our best interest it is not you may think to yourself kevin i have to give up so much for jesus christ and yes and you may see that as like a like a hindrance or some type of like a like a horrible thing like god is taking away your life look 
God is, I was going to say God is like a parent, but he is a parent, a parent. Do you understand everything? No. Do you understand half of everything? No. Probably not. Do you understand 25%, 10%, 5%, 2 of everything? I don't think so. So if you think you should live life the way you want it, is it possible the life you think you should live that you should live will be harmful to you. God has given us, I believe God has given us free will. So we can choose whatever we want, yet we are going to reap what we sow. But even with that, we can still choose to do wrong. But Kevin, it's not really a choice because he is going to send me to hell if I don't do right. How can you not want to go by God's rules, but you want to live in the end, I guess I can say, you want to live where he is at. So you want to live separately from his rules or whatever in this life, but you want to live with him in the next. Now, if you aren't going by his rules now, if you are choosing to rebel against God now, what do you believe you are going to do if you were to get to heaven? Won't you rebel as well? Wasn't there rebelling in heaven already? So, if you are not going by God's rules now, you are probably causing, probably causing trouble for some people here on earth so why should he bring you to heaven and cause and have you cause trouble for people in heaven as well look if you think God is a tyrant or controlling and all this stuff here fine continue to rebel but don't want to, but I think you should not want to go to heaven either then. I think one of the reasons this earth is so bad is because of people who don't want to serve God. I think that is one of the reasons. So, if there is an earth full of people who want to rebel against God, shouldn't you all have your own place? Why ruin for the people who want to serve God? Why should you all be mixed in with the people who want to serve God and mess things up for us. Let you all have your own place. Let you all cause chaos in your own place, right? Isn't that fair? If you don't want to serve God, if you want to go by your own rules, go to your own realm, go to your own place. For the people who want to serve God, okay, gather us up together and send us to our own place as well. Isn't that fair?
if I made you and you are not functioning in the way I intend, why would I have you laying around? Like, if if I made something and it doesn't work the way I intend, I may scrap it. I may throw it away. I may destroy it. Why? Because what use is it if it is not going to function in the way I want? I made it. If I make something to do a certain function and it isn't working the right way for whatever reason, I am going to get rid of it. Maybe even scrap it or toss it out. I may work with it for a while, but if I can't get it right or whatever else like that, I may destroy it. Get rid of it. Like how many of us keep <laughs> broken phones like forever or broken computers forever or like a broken mirror forever? Maybe not too many of us. I think we toss them out as in trash them. So why shouldn't God trash you if you are choosing to constantly, consistently, willfully disobey him? We are not here for our own purposes. It is about God's purposes first. We can still live life, but place God first. If you are trying to live life without really acknowledging God, that is probably why, probably why I think quite a bit of bad things are coming your way. So let me stop here. God bless you.